Hi guys, welcome to the fourth and final lesson in this contact scripting series. Uh, David Healy here with you once again. And as this is the final lesson in the series, I'm going to assume that you have a good understanding of the contact scripting fundamentals and that you're familiar with Niels Liebag's uh, K-Script editor, either the original standalone version or the Sublime Text 3 plugin version and that you know the basics of the extended language features that that script editor provides. As always, if I'm bringing up a new topic that we haven't already covered, I'll go into more detail and explain it fully, but for things we've discussed previously, I'll assume that you know what I'm talking about. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to improve your contact development workflow through the use of a scripting framework and how to prepare your finished instrument for distribution. In order to do those things, we'll be covering a lot of new scripting techniques that will make use of the extended scripting language features provided by the K-Script editor. And as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to script a tabbed user interface, a multi-mic channel mixer type thing, and a random round robin. I'll also give you a quick introduction to PGS keys, and they're used to send data between script slots. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a scripting framework skeleton that you can adapt and customize to your own development needs, and a small demo instrument which makes use of a channel mixer and that can be used to control the volume of groups and mute and solo and that kind of stuff. And it'll also have a tabbed interface to switch between the mixer and an EQ controls page uh, which will have a drop down menu with EQ presets so I'm going to show you how to do a preset type thing for various contact effects and we can have a look at that now so have a look at the finished thing alright guys so here's the finished instrument as it'll look when we've completed it now in order to make this we're going to learn how to create and use two dimensional arrays and they're going to be used for, if I click this EQ button here, you can see it takes us to this second page so not only we're going to do this tabbed interface but we're going to do this preset menu and you can see it loads different presets for the EQ there. And in order to do this we're going to learn about two dimensional arrays and find out about a new type of function and discover an incredibly useful feature of the contact, uh, the K-Script editor called Macros. Okay guys, that's about it for this quick introduction, just a quick video really to tell you what's going to happen in this lesson. Uh, this is an advanced lesson, so I expect you to have either come through the other videos in the series, uh, sorry, the other lessons in the series, or you're, um, you're familiar with most of the basics anyway. This is kind of to take an advanced programmer or an experienced programmer and make them a professional programmer and increase your development speed basically. That's what this lesson's about. It's about increasing speed and working faster in a on a professional commercial project and these fancy extras, the tabbed interface and the 2D arrays and stuff like that. So head over to the next video and we're going to have a look at frameworks.